Hey folks, it is Chad again with Airstream of Greensboro, the RV1 Superstore of Greensboro, serving North Carolina. I am back today to do another walk around video. This time it's going to be of the 2023 Flying Cloud 27 foot front bed, twin bed. This also has the overbed bunk in the front there. I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, the Flying Cloud, Airstream's number one selling travel trailer other than the base camp. And then the 27 has been, at least for the past couple of years, the top selling floor plan is what as well. So we're going to do a quick walk around of the outside and then we'll jump to the inside. We'll check out that front bunk. Let's go. And starting the outside walk around, I have a uh, an in-depth kind of fairly long video of a 27 foot. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's a globe trotter, but it goes into a lot of details. Uh, check that out on, my, out on my channel. I'll link it abo above, but I go into a lot of detail with it. Now, as far as the, the 27 here, it's the flying cloud. You'll have the solar guards. You're going to have the rock guards. That's standard. With the twin bed, you'll have the extra outside storage. Uh, basically going all the way around. I'll show that to you. And then the flying clouds, you're going to have the manual stabilizers and the manual zip D awning now i personally love the zip the awning once you get used to it you love it uh you're, you're you won't want anything else because it's it's a manual there's nothing to break it's a fantastic awning and you do get the electric ton jack you get the dimco uh hitch system there the flying clouds you do have the custom built or hand built battery box that um airstream makes you have a solar charge there now if you're using the solar panels you have to make sure the solar panels you get have the charge controllers as, as well because this connects straight to the battery right down there is going to be the lp disconnect as most of their models will have there's the outside driver side of it now this particular one has the optional window awning package let's see let's check out the storage on this side so a good, a good little bit of storage there not super deep but it's still something compared to the queen bed model there's no storage there. You would just have storage on the front. <clears throat> and then a good bit of storage right there. Now this is, that's the 50 amp cable. This has the optional second AC. And then moving around. And show you this one other compartment. Again, not super deep. But it is nice to have some extra storage, especially compared to the Queen where you only have that storage right off the front right there. Now, as far as the 27 foot uh, Flying Cloud, it's going to be uh, in total length 28 foot, height 9 foot 9 inches. Uh, your hitch weight on this is 850 pounds. That doesn't change with the front bed or the front bunk. Uh, 6,100 pounds for your base weight, 7,600 pounds for your GVWR. You do have the aluminum steps that come standard. And then with the awning package, of course, you have that rear awning there. You've got the stores there and the bumper, wet storage, furnace is right there. Now, with the Flying Cloud, the 23s, you do get the smart plug fantastic plug super easy to use uh, roughly 27 percent more metal to metal contact which helps with the heat your uh, satellite and cable park cable input there black tank flush your city inlets right there that's your portable water fill and then your outside shower does have hot cold water and you do have your gray and black tank dump right there and then your stinky hose storage is there and you can see that first front stabilizer there that is manual and then the, the, the whole underbelly of the flying cloud is enclosed and heated it's enclosed with aluminum so it's a little bit stronger than what you're used to getting with a non airstream style travel trailer so a much better design it's fully heated fully enclosed so you can do winter camping with an airstream there are some things that you'll want to watch out for Airstream has a great post about winter camping in an Airstream on their websites to check that out. So now that we've kind of done the walk around of the outside, we'll jump to the inside. Moving to the inside. So of course, 
Airstream's door takes eight hours to build. They build this by hand, four welds uh, on the screen door itself. Has a tremendous sound. It's a, it's a door that sounds like a vault when you close it. Um, it's a great demonstration of quality when it comes to Airstream. And then your rivets on the outside, you can see those here and throughout. It's a stretch aluminum. Uh, there's a fantastic video that Airstream has that shows the build process. That's a butt rivet that's built very similar to how they build you know, buildings with steel. Uh, now this is aluminum, but that once that rivet is in place, it can't come out. It, it can't loosen. You can see the actual aluminum weld for the doors there coming in. Now this is the 27 front bed. So you're going to have the really nice couch area and dinette area here in the back of the camper. Of course, the 360 degree windows, which just let in an enormous a lot of, amount of light, the portholes there. It's also a fantastic look. The, uh, the 23, the 2023 model year, a couple of things that changed versus the 22 model year. Um, in this section, there's no longer the DVD player, but you do have an HDMI port plug there that connects to the TV as well as the inverted plug there and a USB right there. You also get soft close with the cabinets. It's a fantastic upgrade. Still the over-engineered hinges that will last for generations. You do have still the JL audio radio. I love this radio. It sounds phenomenal. And you can see the JL audio speakers there. Now this dinette does fold down, makes into a bed there. And then there is the sleeping here and an additional pull out that is right there that also turns, you know, extends that, makes that into a bed. Now Airstream tells me that that is rated for or has been tested to uh, 350 pounds. Moving to the kitchenette side. So with the flying cloud, you'll have the Formica countertop. It's a solid countertop. It's worked in for years and years and years, for generations, that countertop is fine. You have a surface mounted stainless steel sink. You have a residential faucet. It does pull down just like you would see in your house. Now behind this shade there, you've got your porthole windows. Love that look, especially behind uh, the sink there. And you do have your dimmable lights here for your overhead lights. That is your disconnect switch there. It's a remote switch and you hit that button. You actually hear the disconnect trigger um, somewhere else in the camper. You've got your trash can that comes with it. A little bit of storage there. And then a little bit of storage here. And of course this is all connected. So it's open with storage right there. You have full extension doors here. It does come with the wood silverware organizer. Now the 27 versus the 25, I have a great video that shows the differences. One of the things I missed in that video was this section here. The 25, these drawers are a little bit smaller, almost half the size and a little bit less counter space here. And then you can watch that video. I'll tag it above to see all the other differences. Now this one's standard as far as the microwave oven option. So the standard is gonna be the RV oven. That's right here with your three burner stovetop there. And then here, you're gonna have a pull-out microwave. Below that will be your pull-out pantry. Now, if you option the convection microwave, the stove will go, go away. Convection microwave goes there. This will then become part of the pantry and you'll gain one more shelf worth of pantry right there. And then a good amount of storage above the kitchen area. Now this does vent outside. It does have a light as well. Now the flying cloud, as well as the Caravelle, everything above is gonna have the quiet stream AC. This has the optional second AC, uh, this particular camper. So it's options that it was added was second AC, the window awnings, 
and the bed, the bunk. And I'll show you that in a second. This doesn't have the solar package. And it does have a thousand watt inverter. That is right there. There's your switch to cut that one and off there. Your C level two tank monitors are there and you do have a GFI socket plug right there. A little bit of storage down here. Now, <clears throat> this is not very deep because the wheel well for the tires are on the other side and Airstream built the camper down and, and around the wheels. That helps with uh, uh, drag, air drag, uh, aerodynamics, uh, ride quality, all those types of things. Helps with that and the Demco axles. A fantastic setup there. Now, 23, the model year 2023, you have the 12 volt TV there. The Flying Cloud doesn't have the adjustable hinge here. Now that'd be an easy thing you could add yourself. It's stationary in its current form. You do have another inverted circuit right there. And then a few other connections. As far as windows that open, these two windows open. The center window, large window in the back opens you have a fantastic fan there. Your window directly in the back opens and then your side windows, which I'll show you in a second, open. Now you do have an all electric refrigerator, freezer combo here, freezer there, refrigerator there. Now with it being all electric, it will run off the batteries uh, for a few days. And your biggest thing is that you get more storage because there's no propane system in the back. And a little bit of storage there. With the 27 foot, you do get a double wardrobe right here. A little bit of storage above. And then you do have, you have the split bath. That is common with Airstream. There's a curtain with a 27 that comes across and comes to this point here. So the closet is inside of the bathroom area. Uh, when you're getting ready, you have that curtain closed. You also have a second curtain in the bedroom area that is here. That is to make that into a complete closed off area so you can get ready or just pull that front curtain and it becomes an ensuite. suite. <clears throat> Checking out the bathroom. You do have a porcelain toilet. There's plenty of room as far as the toilet goes. This is hey, a nice medicine cabinet back there. There's a little bit of storage here. There is a powered fan vent porthole there and the AC dock storage right there a little bit of storage there under the sink and then the sliding storage there and there and that's your toilet paper holder area where that that is you do have a, a furnace vent there too to heat this area I'm gonna sit down real quick hey how's it going as far as space goes I would give this um not necessarily a pass pass and it's an airstream so airstreams you're you're not expecting it to further to be a ton of space but there's enough space here for me to close the door if i needed to um my legs are going to touch here and i'll touch the door as well but there's enough room yeah i mean there's enough room i would not give this a solid pass but there is enough room now your water heater control is right there this does have a tankless hot water heater set that to the temperature that you want the water to be and then just turn the hot valve on. That's the best way to go. Light switch right there. Towel holder there. Your shower is going to be right here. There is a seat. You have a removable shower head there. Now this is a little string that falls across. That is not going to be uh, durable enough for big towels. Something something like uh, excuse me, uh, small bathing suits, those types of things. Let me stand in here. Now, as you know, I'm 5'11". You can see there is a little bit of room, about two inches of space there. So if you're a taller fella, you're gonna have to squat down a little bit, but you fit. And then as far as space goes, there's plenty of space for someone my size to fit in the shower. So I would say as far as shower goes, there's plenty of room and I can sit down. So. Yeah, this the shower passes. This is absolutely fine. You've got the shower head. That's everything you need. It turns off, has an on and off switch right there. Yeah, I would take that all day long. And then just above myself, sorry for the camera movement, you're going to have another sunlight. It does have a cover to cover that up. And then moving to 
The thing that makes this unique, the twin bed area with the bunk overhead, uh, fantastic. I mean, it's a cool thing. If you use that for a bunk, obviously that would be its intended purpose, but I could totally see using that as storage as well. Um, putting some tubs up there, taking the mattress out, putting some tubs up there. That would be a really good amount of extra storage that you would not normally get in a, in a flying cloud. So there's probably a dual purpose there. Although most people are going to be thinking bed and not storage. So that bed is going to measure, let me see, 32 inches deep by 89 inches long. Now that is give or take a little because the bed does have the curve of the, the ceiling there as well as the curve going down there. So 36 inches by 89 inches is being generous, but it is, that is the actual measurement of where the bed is and it can weigh 200 pounds. That is the max load capacity for that. Now your beds down here, your two twin beds, these are going to measure at 36 inches by 80 inches long. You have the storage underneath right here. You've got power there. If you have any, any devices that you need at night, there is storage underneath both sides a little pull out right there that is the same on the other side so a good amount of storage for the flying clouds you don't lose the wardrobes those are right here of course you have the shelves in here these can come out you've got the wardrobe rod right there and then the 27 also gives you this that uh, gives you the wardrobe on both sides and then your 12 volt tv in the bedroom area now this one does have a uh, hinge on it amount that can move around so you can pull that out turn it do a few different things there you've got your ac controls right there there's a light switch back here with dimming functions and you have a inverted circuit right there if you have a laptop or something of that nature that you would like to plug in and then we can already see the bunk there so the twin bed option with the overhead bunk obviously that's a bunk it could be something that you have uh, if you have a younger a younger child that could easily sleep up there probably would love it um think it was the coolest thing ever also i can see that being some really good storage as well if you get creative <clears throat> walk back up here to the front now i just want to say thanks for watching the video if you've actually gotten to this point of the video watched it all the way through Thank you. Again, my name is Chad Watson. If you have any questions on the flying cloud that we just were in, the 27FB twin with the front overhead bunk, or any other Airstream, whether it's touring coach or travel trailer, please reach out. I'll be happy to help you. Happy to help you find your next Airstream. You guys live riveted. Hopefully we'll talk soon. Bye.